When I met her, I always she wouldn't have sex before marriage, yeah. But to be honest, she wouldn't have sex fucking after it either. <laughs> I said, why don't you like sex, she went. Well, when I was little, my dad took me to a farm and I was chased by a rooster. So I'm afraid of cocks. <laughs> she said, I only married you because she said you got your penis fucking shut off the Falklands. I said, yeah, I did. Yeah, but you never mentioned your 12-inch stump. You can get Viagra now over the counter, but only in boots. So if you turn up in your Jesus sandals, lads, you won't get fucking served. <laughs> Do you mind if I have a drink of gin? Okay. Oh, is that for me? Do you mind if I just... Uh, yeah. Thanks, thanks. No, don't say you can't get any either. I couldn't... I nearly fucking... I'd have met you down there a few minutes ago, Jeff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Not that I like a drink, but I'm a fucking glass, so are you? <laughs> Somebody's jealous because I can't get a fucking bite. <laughs> hey, isn't in true life the funniest fucking things? I'm in Glasgow, the night Scotland beat England in 1974, Wembley 4-2, and I'm in the middle of Glasgow, and I said, I'm not the comedian, I've come for the goalpost back. <laughs> 60 pint glasses bounced off me fucking head. I'm the unluckiest country. Uh, what happened with me? Uh, ben, I was a big friend of Bernard's, Bernard Mannon, and uh, he called me his love child. And he, he did this big show in London, and the, the George Savage, the Greek, said to him, Do you know anybody else that does your type of music? He said, There's a lad from the northeast called Chubby Brown. He's, he's up and coming. Why don't you book him? So I get a phone call. I mean, the fucking fee was about 50 quid then. I went all the way to London, and I said, I, I said Don't put me on at 12 o'clock because I won't get a fucking laugh. I said, Put me on a little bit earlier. He said, Half past 10. So I walked on and I swear down with the Lord straight me dead. There's a table here. Well, 25 blokes on the table. Champagne bottles. There must be 70 champagne. They wouldn't let the waitresses take the bottles away. And they were a bit frightened of them. I, did, I didn't realise they shouting at me and I'm shouting, God, take your face for the shit. And they're fucking shouting back and I'm like, fucking hell. And then, anyway, I come off after about 50 minutes and George came in the dressing room and went, oh, fucking hell, chubs. I think we're in the shit. I said, we're in the shit. <laughs> they said, have you heard of the Korea Twins? <laughs> this is 1968-69. I went, yeah. Have you heard of Frankie Maddox Fraser? <laughs> Scarface car, Mac Vitti the hat. They're all around that table. Have you heard of Lenny McLean, the gypsy bare knuckle fighter? He's just done 12 years for beating a bloke to death with his fists. I said, yeah. You've just told him he's got a face like a cow's cunt. <laughs> I said, where's the back door? He said, we haven't got one. I said, where do you fucking want one? 